So we've learned a lot so far, all right? We have data showing up on the page. Uh, we have a function that allows us to call a JavaScript or a button that allows us to call a JavaScript function, which will then dynamically change data on the page by referencing an ID. Well, one thing that we're missing that most websites have is some type of an input, right? Most websites, if I go to an input, there's a space where I can type in something. If I need to log in, for example, or if I want to search Google, okay, there will be what we call an input box uh, that allows us to type something in. So in HTML, uh, I'm going to put a break here. Uh, a break will just basically, it's like hitting enter on your keyboard. Uh, and then I'm going to put an input. And then after this, oh, whoops, I'll go ahead and put another break. All right, so if I just save this as it is and look in the browser, you can see this is a paragraph. And we actually have two breaks here because the paragraph will give us a new line also, so we can take that break out. Then we have an input. We can type in here anything we want. And then we have call function, which will change our paragraph. Okay, now what we want is to get this data into our function. So what we're going to do, uh, like I said, we can take that one out. Uh, we have input type text. We'll go ahead and add another attribute, which is an ID. And I'll say user input. We could call it anything. Uh, and then I'm going to copy that. And then inside of my print message function, we're going to do something very similar uh, to what we did before. Let me collapse that a little bit and make this a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm just going to say document dot get element by ID. And we call this user input dot value. Okay, so this will isolate that HTML element, the input, which is right here, by its ID. And then we're going to say, hey, whatever the user types in, we want it. And so once I have this, I can then assign it to a variable. And so I'll say let um, some text equals uh, and then that value. Okay, now let's run this and let's see what happens. I'm going to save both of these, come back over here, and I'm going to put a breakpoint into, um, into our file here. And I'm going to type in uh, this is awesome and run the function. Okay, you can see some text is now this is awesome. And it does that because if I look at this, just like we were able to do with the paragraph, it found an input with an ID of user input. And then somewhere deep in here, there's a value that is, this is awesome, whatever the user typed in, right? And then we assign that to some text, all right? So now let's go ahead and try to put that some te that text, this is awesome, back onto the page. Go ahead and try that on your own, and in the next, vid in the next video, we'll do that together.